Jeffries, I don't know yet, but I'm just thinking the top of my head as far as the court schedule, time frames involved in the statute. Assuming they make their presentation, which would with your response entitle you to some discovery, assuming that were to be the case, I would think for dealing with requests for production. That what you're thinking is yes, the moment talking. that you might need. We would, might have to shorten the time frame of the discovery rule so as to comply with this statute, correct? If they meet the, the heavy burden, uh, I mean, if I can't have to extend the time, you can do any slap motion hearing. I've got to probably shorten the time frame. You have that power, Your Honor. So I'm trying to get to under. That. I think you the 199 or whatever series of rules regarding the 96, 97, whatever they are. I think the, 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 the time parameters set by the statute, I think, uh, supports the conclusion that you've got to do what you've got to do. In other words, like today is the 8th, say, pick a day like the 20th or 21st, something like that for this gift. Was some discovery is mm -hmm. authorized under this statute might be you know some week of the 20th of February so as to make sure that they would have an adequate opportunity to get a motion to compel heard before we could get to this hearing on we, 12, we, 13, 14, We can talk 15. about that after they satisfy the burden that they're entitled to discuss. Yes, and our yes. motion for sanctions is set I believe on the 22nd, 20, 21st, 22nd. <coughs> With that, yes, sir. Uh, one thing I'd like a clarification on. If um, if we present our anti-slap motions today, uh, Mr. Jeffrey has just said that all of the affidavits and all the declarations that he intends to file have been filed. I want to make sure that if I open up my entire case and I make my entire arguments, that I don't see another 14 or 15 affidavits and declarations and amended declarations and everything else, because that would be unfair to us for him to be able to keep continuing to do that after this hearing. So if he's just talking about having documents produced and he's going to give you documents, I don't have a problem with it. But if he's going to be coming back with all these documents, third amended declaration. Are those documents in and of themselves copies of evidence and an annual slap? I have no idea because I don't know what he's talking about. <coughs> but what I do understand is every time that somebody files something, then Monique Rathman has her third or fourth or fifth amended declaration and then Mark Rathman has his. What I don't want to do is open up my entire argument and then have and Just him. in general, are there some documents that might be produced? Not that I'm aware of. That would be admissible? For All for our position is going, let me see the request of Judge No. I mean, the, the issues that the anti slap zero in on the question are purely legal matters. They want to. All you've heard is that he's alluding to. I can show you smoking guns that say that you know they had a black heart and black motive, uh, malice in their hearts. Judge, the case law it couldn't be clear. The motivation, the intent, none of that matters on the exercise. And I mean, I, I can allude very quickly to. Do you think those Ku Klux Klan and those Nazis that are burning crosses? Uh, uh, don't have black motives in their hearts to cause pain to Jews and blacks and Catholics? Of course they do. And the Supreme Court of the United States has said that we as a society have made certain elections 
on the freedoms of expression and in spite of that malice existing and it doesn't he's making all that up but even if you want to entertain the argument that it does your honor proper application of supreme court law says that that doesn't matter and so why would a, a, a document or a deposition or any discovery be relevant that's why the statute says they've got a heightened burden to to to, to present to you uh, to justify why they need and they have to very specifically identify what that evidence that they think they can develop for you to allow discovery and uh, from what they file their request it doesn't come close to meeting the requirements of the statute and it, it's, it isn't proper and the anti-slap statute is written to circumvent all that stuff and just have you apply the law that's why i call it a rocket docket summary judgment and, and i will object to to uh, uh, I will insist that they meet that discovery because that is the right that I have under the statute. And I will flesh all of this out, I promise. Okay, well, Your Honor, he didn't answer the question you asked, which is, or are there, well, I guess he said no, we can take that. You said, well, what if you all prove doc, uh, you produce documents which contradict your burden on the slap motion? Are those admissible? I say yes. We have very little case law on this, but if you look at it, Your Honor, subpart A on evidence, that's CPRC 27.006. It, it says, it describes the conventional situation where you have the rocket docket, there's no discovery, and the court decides it based upon uh, supporting and opposing affidavits, okay? Then it goes on in B and says, on a motion by a party or on the court's own motion and on a showing of good cause, the court may allow specified and limited discovery relevant to the motion. That would make the rule ridiculous, what they're arguing, which is that the court could allow discovery, but then the fruits of the discovery could not be used on the anti-slap motion. That makes no sense. That wasn't my argument. I'm arguing exactly what the statute says. They've got to show you that they need specific, relevant, limited discovery. But then he objects when I try to make my presentation on why we do need that. Your Honor, I'm suggesting that he can use his time any way he wants to, the court permits him. Let me make my motion, and then as the court has already indicated four separate times now, uh, in, in the course of his presentation, if he thinks he can satisfy his heavy burden of allowing discovery, of getting discovery allowed by you, in this case, he's free to make it. But, I mean, he, he's misreading the law, and he's misapplying what the statute says, and with the authority that we do have on this statute, which I'm ready and willing to, to present to you, say on this topic. Assuming they already had it, and they, they got it from discovery from a party, as a statement of that party, I mean, can they not file an affidavit saying this is what we received in discovery? That goes to that goes to the point co-counsel is raising here, Your Honor. The issue is joined. We're here for the hearing. Uh, the discovery that they're looking for, if, if, if they meet the heightened uh, requirement that uh, gets you to say that they're allowed it, okay, that is the self-contained universe of what the additional discovery is going to be. Uh, I, I think what, what we're trying to ask the court, and I, I joined in that request, but I was assuming it, and, and now I'm articulating it, that uh, if, you, if they met that burden, in your view, and you allowed them to discover it, that that doesn't mean that we get you know, a, a whole new round of declarations and affidavits from, from people that they, sua sponte, are putting together and bringing before you because we've already answered based on but it, all the only thing I would entertain would be as far as subsequent mm -hmm. filing say that this is what we got from the other side I don't have a problem okay. I don't have a problem Mr. Okay. Sudio may and I'm not I, I'm not speaking for him but what I don't want to see is when I stand up and make my arguments for defendant Bonnie Gray that they come back and with another amended supplemental whatever to refute what we've argued today because we've already been here once, Judge, or twice. This is not something that we open our case up and then let them go through all the discovery and file a bunch of other information. And I'm so saying the judge thing, just limited to that, I don't have a problem. I, Otherwise, 
We need to have it heard today. I'm saying the same thing, Your Honor. If you allow discovery, and that's a big if, then whatever we uh, uh, get in that discovery is, is what you allow, and not any additional rethinking new theories, new affidavits to respond to something that we need. And with that understanding, is there any downside? Yes, Your Honor, there, there is a downside. Uh, Mr. Dunnigan filed his objections to our, our evidence last night. And if we haven't had a chance to properly review it, when we do, if, there are, if we think there are holes in our evidence, we want to submit additional declarations. Well, you, and, and, you know, and, and, and you know, if, if, if on the one hand they're saying, we don't, we don't think that there's a, a, you're allowed to have a discovery and we can object to your, your evidence and you can't respond to that, then it, you know, it makes a you know, kind of a travesty of the adversarial system when we've just got these objections. And, and if I might respond, Your Honor, I got their response uh, that we were going to argue on the 11th at 8 p.m. on the 10th, okay? And I had to show up ready to argue the anti-slap motion on the 11th after I got that. Um, we've had the holidays and stuff. I didn't have an opportunity to even draft my objections. And now I have drafted them, and I'm assuming it's local rule where you just serve things on people the night before or the morning of. But uh, if that's appropriate, I've done what's appropriate. I've got objections to their evidence, and they should have already submitted what they wanted the court to consider in proper form. It's not for them to come back now and say, well, let us redo it, let us revise all this, and come back another day and fight over this. And we're, here to, we're here to argue the motion today. we got our dancing shoes on, Judge, like you said. And I don't want him to take them away from us, but don't give him an opportunity to come back 30 days from now and provide a lot of other information. Well, I'll just have to make rulings on what's presented to me, but in my anticipation, that the biggest problem, Mr. Jeffrey, that I've got is y'all certainly could have formally sent request for We're not allowed to, Your Honor. Under the statute, we're not allowed to until the court gives us the green light. Because so that's for leave. Well, Judge, they, they, that's a little disingenuous, Your Honor, because they did exactly that in their motion for continuance. Right. Well, they, I guess what I'm thinking of is that they could certainly ask the court, y'all could provide it or object to it, saying they didn't get leave for it. Actually, Your Honor, uh, they, they to the extent that they can ask for it is after you have given them the parameters of what it is that you're going to allow discovery because it's not discovery I like guess my point is everything is legal until somebody complains about it it's not sure well in depositions they already made that clear if i would ask questions they would say that would be on the slap motion and you can't ask about that but because um, discovery you allow us on jurisdiction well, one of the things that it, it feels sort of alice in wonderland here on this because the whole concept of this rocket docket and we've got to hurry up and do this is based upon this premise if you have uh, the classic slap situation where walmart is building a store down the road from someone's home and they don't like walmart and they write letters to the editor and they carry a sign saying keep walmart out and they petition their city council and their county commissioners and Walmart says, we're the biggest corporation in the world. We know how to deal with this. And they slam them with a law, that person with a lawsuit. The reason, you know, I, I have a rule. The law makes sense. The reason why the general slap situation has an accelerated docket to it is John Q. Citizen, who was just writing to his representatives that he didn't want Walmart to get their permit down the road, he will be crushed by merely having to try to respond to a lawsuit. He can't do that. He doesn't have the money to hire a lawyer. That They have between 15 and 20 lawyers here today. They're overwhelming us with papers and objections and this and that and the other thing. That's the, excuse me, that, you, that, that is the whole point. Me. He's been arguing that the purpose is accelerated activity we're supposed to hurry up your honor well, why is that my purpose is, is on the face of the statute your honor, he's interrupting which me. alice in wonderland is the only time he's making now i understand well and i'm gonna have to deal with objections to 
any affidavits or discovery that's filed or response to discovery that's filed additional affidavits just as they come. I can't predict what there is or what is not. But I'm willing to go forward Thank you, today and let them present this case and we will recess giving you the opportunity and I'll just have to deal with the objections that y'all received, the plans received last night, to the evidence that was previously, or affidavit previously filed, et cetera, mm -hmm. as we get to them. The only, respectfully, Your Honor, the only request I would have to that procedure that you've outlined is don't make the conclusion now that you're going to recess after my case. Why don't you listen to my presentation and if I can show you what these authorities are okay. and you reach the conclusion that, that nothing they're, they're going to be entitled to discovery, then they go forward and put on their case and, and, and we stay within the timetable of the section. Will we be allowed to respond and make our argument then for why we're allowed, we should yes. be allowed to discover? Yes, that's what I, that's what I understand the court to be proposing. Yes, that's it is with action. We understand if that's how the court would like to proceed, Your Honor, and using the court's uh, available time resources as long as we're not waiving anything. May I proceed, Your Honor? Your Honor, as long as we're not waiving anything by, by merely by doing that that we still can argue that we should be allowed some additional time and to get some discovery from them. That's previously stated, that's Thank my you. thought process. I'm not going to object to that side of the use their time, Your Honor, because I understand what the court wants to do. Okay. Well, just with that being said, let's just make sure that all the electronics behind the rail are off and out of the courtroom.